Hey everyone, it's May 30th and it's another beautiful day out here in the Mojave Desert. I'm trying a new camera angle because of the weird noise I get. I've noticed in the beginning of my videos, so hopefully taking a different shot today, that won't be in the video. But uh, yeah, there's not a cloud in the sky and it is perfectly beautiful out today. Just about 90 degrees. So today I was going to do uh, a video on the Suzuki. I was going to work on it a little bit. Uh, I got Universals in and I, I wanted to replace them. I think they might be bad. I crawled under there and I can't really find any play in the Universal. But uh, I can't get it out of my head. The sound is definitely what I would recognize as a problem with the drive line. And I still have vibration issues that I haven't really been able to solve. So I think going down this path, hopefully I can get that, those issues solved. And with 156,000 miles, chances are those U-joints are bad. Uh, normally they develop play, but in this case I think they're binding. And that's where I've been getting the vibration from. But unfortunately, as you can see, there's a new addition to the family behind the Suzuki. Uh, the wife and I, we finally decided to get a new car. Actually, she decided, and uh, we picked up a 2018 Honda CRV. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's probably the, well, no, it, there's no doubt it's the nicest car we've ever owned. And uh, I'll do some videos on that in the future. I'm not feeling really well today, so this kind of worked out for me. I, I don't have the Saturn here, and the Saturn's at the dealership in Las Vegas, but... <laughs> The, thing, the funny thing about it is my jacks and jack stands are in the back of the Saturn. The Saturn's kind of like the, I don't know, the beater car, the repair vehicle. It's uh, the good old trusty vehicle that I use to get all the parts for the other cars usually. So I didn't think of that when I dropped the Saturn off. And I don't really have jacks or jack stands today. I think everything is in the back of the Saturn. It's slowly migrated there and it kind of looks like there's enough room underneath here for me to just suck it up and crawl crawl underneath and do it but even with uh even with the clearance and stuff i don't like it it's really tight and i don't like to take chances the older i get the i don't know the more leery i get with taking chances but if you're working on something like this my chest is going to be like right up against the uh the undercarriage and for some re weird reason if a little bit of pressure comes out of the tires or it sinks into the ground a little bit it, it probably shouldn't do that but it is possible to lose a couple pounds of pressure while you're underneath the with underneath the car and there's a good chance you could get trapped so I don't really like it it's a little too claustrophobic for me in my older age so uh, that's a perfect excuse for me not to do it today. And on top of that, I'm not feeling the greatest today. I kind of got enchilada poisoning yesterday. And uh, I still feel, feel a little weak. And yeah, my voice is definitely a little raspy yet. Alrighty, so if you don't know what enchilada poisoning is, enchilada poisoning for me is when I've been eating enchiladas for four days and then... I cough them up into my throat and it burns the crap out of me and I can't breathe. So I haven't gotten much sleep in the last night or anything and I'm definitely feeling worn out today. So it's kind of a mixed blessing. I uh, don't have the tools to work on the Suzuki and uh, honestly I don't feel like doing it. So since I'm not doing a video on replacing these U-joints here, I thought I'd do a little update video. And... Uh, I, I thought this is pretty cool. I have never seen U-joints this small before, other than like on a four-wheeler or something. But, uh, yeah, look how tiny they are. I can fit the whole thing inside my meaty paw there. So with these U-joints being so small in size and the amount of miles on the Suzuki, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find some kind of issue with the ones that are in. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be coming up soon. And I'll be doing some videos on the, the Honda CRV as well. But one of the more exciting things 
I have planned in the near future is tearing down my uh, RV carport out there. I got some cables there that are ready to go. They have the hooks on them and everything. I haven't even opened the box yet. But uh, let's take a walk out to the carport. This carport is uh, leaning to the right really, really bad, like the leaning tower of Pisa. So my plan is I'm going to take those cables, each one's 100 foot, and I'm going to go over the roof and back under, hook it there, run it down here to the ground, and pull it with either the, the dually, the 454, 3500 there, or the tractor, or both. We'll see what happens. Uh, if it does fall into the fence, it's not a big deal. I can fix that. It's just a, a bit of added labor and stuff. So that's the game plan with that and the new video plan. Probably within the next couple weeks, we'll see how it goes. So I've been behind on videos for the last couple weeks and there's the main reason. Researching and getting a new vehicle the uh, 2018 Honda CRV. This one has a 1.5 liter turbo and uh, I would never in my life have imagined a, a, an engine so small could produce so much power. It's 190 horsepower and uh, it definitely feels like it. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. But uh, one of the things, one of the issues I'm having, and I'll do a video more in depth later, is I just got this on Monday and today's Wednesday I still need to get registration for it and everything uh, we purchased it in Las Vegas and we live in Arizona so it was an out-of-state purchase and they gave me a 15-day temporary tag as we like to call it where I'm from but uh, a 15-day registration from uh, Nevada and that, that's fine and everything. I have 15 days to get uh, regular registration here in Arizona for it. But unfortunately, what I did not know is the process uh, car dealers in Nevada use when uh, in regards to getting your registration and stuff. Normally, I'm used to uh, once you do the deal, you go down to the DMV and get your registration. Uh, that's not the case here. Uh, I don't have the necessary paperwork yet. I have to wait for the dealership to get that squared away. And then they're going to actually fax that to the DMV in Arizona, the one that I'm going to go to. And then, then I can go and get my registration. But the thing is, it's a 15-day registration. And uh, already I have 12 days left. And I have contacted the dealer the dealership and they won't really give me a straight answer as to when I can expect to get the uh, okay that they've processed the paperwork and faxed it over to the Arizona DMV. So hopefully this isn't a big deal but obviously with only 15 days to get it registered I'm concerned about how much time I'll have uh, after the dealership uh, squares the paperwork away. But uh, I absolutely love the car. I think it's awesome. And I'll be doing more videos of it later. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.